Cupra Fermenter Review. From 340, 1,908 pounds. Cupra's first standalone model has been extensively reworked to broaden its appeal. Does it deliver? To a point, the cars do live up to that talk. They're all available with powerful engines and feature sharp, angular designs and undeniably racy interiors punctuated by a signature bronze trim. The Fermenter set the Cupra brand on this path, being its first model that wasn't based on a seat and one of its best sellers. More than 120,000 were delivered worldwide last year. The Cupra Fermenter line up at a glance. No matter which version you go for, performance from each of the engines available is strong. The range kicks off with a 1 for 8 bhp mild hybrid 1.5 liter turbocharged 4, which is paired with a 6 speed manual gearbox and front wheel drive. Starting at 27,600 for pounds, the Fermenter costs more than the Renault Arcana, but nearly 13,000 pounds less than the BMW X2. Eyes available in V1, V2, and V3 trims or racier VZ1, VZ2, and VZ3 trims. A plug-in hybrid version is also available, pairing the same 1.5-liter turbo petrol engine with a 19.7 kilo watt-hours battery up from 13 kilo what hours previously, and an electric motor, resulting in 201 bhp, sent to the front wheels via a six-speed automatic gearbox. With the increase in battery capacity, electric-only range has been increased from 37 miles to a claimed 62 miles, which puts the fermenter PHEV in the 8% benefit in kind big tax bracket. The old version fell into the 12% bracket. While the PHEV powertrain is available in V1, V2, and V3 cars, it can also be had in AVZ version, with its power increased to 268 bhp. This version is also exclusively for wheel drive, but uses the same 6-speed automatic gearbox. The most powerful engine can be had only in VZ cars. It's the same 3 to 9 bhp to 0 0.0 liter turbo petrol 4, used by the Volkswagen Golf R and Audi S3 and it sends its power to all four wheels via a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. A 2.0-liter turbo diesel engine with 1 for 8 bhp is offered elsewhere, but it won't be coming to the UK. All cars are well-equipped. Even the V1 comes with 18 inches alloy wheels, full LED headlights, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, privacy glass, power folding door mirrors, tri-zone climate control, keyless entry, keyless start, and adaptive cruise control. Wait for other latest video updates. Thank you for watching.